the getaways of the offenders have left incredibly devastating consequences for other traffic participants. And sometimes, offenders daringly use firearms, ready to confront the police during their escape. The chaotic escape often results in self-inflicted accidents. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! The police discovered a yellow SUV maneuvering on the road, overtaking other vehicles with its right headlight off. During the pursuit and tailing process, the police officer noticed the vehicle had no license plate. Immediately, the alarm siren was activated, signaling the need for the vehicle to stop. However, the driver accelerated and fled, even running a red light at high speed, resulting in a collision with a motorcycle at the intersection. The car driver then exited the vehicle and the police instructed him to lie down on the ground. The victim's mother was allowed to come close to her child, providing her with reassurance about the well-being of the young motorcyclist. The offender faced numerous charges. How many years of imprisonment will be handed down for the reckless actions he caused? A speeding offender is instructed to pull over by the police. The vehicle slows down and eventually stops by the roadside. The police request documentation for a routine check, but the man appears disoriented and unable to provide any information. Suspecting impaired driving capabilities, an investigation through Akira's reveals prior charges against the man for DWI. Upon returning to the vehicle and confirming some details, the police instruct the man to step out. However, the driver decides to flee. High-speed chase ensues, reaching speeds over 100 miles per hour. The suspect's vehicle stops on the side of the road and the man runs into the woods with a firearm. In this subsequent apprehension attempt, law enforcement exercises extreme caution, deploying additional forces and canine units. Despite numerous commands, the driver refuses to surrender. In the aftermath, the suspect is apprehended and faces a 13-year prison sentence for multiple offenses, concluding a dangerous and intense encounter with the law. A nighttime police pursuit unfolded involving a vehicle that had previously caused an accident and then fled. As soon as the police spotted the vehicle in the opposite lane, the patrol quickly joined the chase. The pit maneuver proved successful from the first attempt, thanks to the cooperation of the two patrol cars. The police apprehended all three suspects, including a woman at the wheel and two passengers at the back. Get out. Do not reach down. Get out. During the inspection of the suspects, they found a small bag of marijuana on the woman sitting in the back. The police discovered that the man, during the pursuit, had thrown an object out of the window. 
the vehicle underwent a thorough search. I want y'all badge number. No, I'm not. Because I told him I had some weed and he still kicked me. I don't care what you say. I'm getting all y'all badge numbers. I don't give a f what y'all say. I told him. I told him. The woman continued to loudly protest and threatened to sue the patrol officers, claiming she was innocent. What are your thoughts on this woman and her threats towards the police? A vehicle, expired in registration, swiftly evades police pursuit at high speed. Throughout the reckless getaway, the vehicle maneuvers daringly, taking advantage of the currently vacant road. The absence of other traffic becomes an advantage for law enforcement to intervene without endangering other vehicles. However, due to the high-speed chase, the vehicle flips off the road, leaving all occupants trapped. Subsequently, the police provide assistance in safely extricating the entire group from the overturned vehicle. Medical personnel assess all individuals on site for injuries sustained in the accident. Fortunately, luck was on their side and no one suffered severe injuries threatening their lives. A vehicle was reported to be fleeing at high speed after individuals inside the car threw a package of white powder, believed to be contraband, out of the window. The suspect's vehicle was fleeing at an estimated speed of around 130 miles per hour, overtaking multiple other vehicles and swerving recklessly. Two other military patrol vehicles were also participating in the chase. The suspect's vehicle began to slow down to navigate through a spike strip. Seizing the opportunity, the police officer executed a pit maneuver while his teammate's vehicle surrounded the target from different angles. Stay back! Hamilton, come back! The suspect's vehicle careened off the road and got stuck in the grassy area. The police swiftly moved in to apprehend the individuals, successfully concluding the pursuit without any injuries. Police patrol was requested to assist in a high-speed pursuit of a homicide suspect from Indiana. A dangerous criminal pursuit involving special forces and patrol officers unfolded in Gwinnett County, Georgia. A pickup truck was fleeing at high speed, swerving to overtake other vehicles and at times dangerously launching into the air before landing recklessly.
Despite law enforcement attempting high-speed interventions, the suspect's vehicle continued to change lanes and even moved into oncoming traffic. The continuous movement of other traffic posed a challenge for the police as they aimed to successfully stop the criminal without endangering other road users. At a major intersection with numerous moving vehicles, the suspect persisted in his reckless driving eventually colliding with another moving vehicle. The suspect fled the vehicle, and a coordinated effort between special forces and patrol officers led to a successful containment. The timely intervention prevented other traffic participants from facing danger. The suspect was then handed over to the U.S. authorities for custody. The collision involving the suspect's vehicle and another vehicle resulted in a report of minor injuries. A small state police officer participated in a pursuit of a violating vehicle. Upon confirming the location of the vehicle, the patrol car of the officer became the primary unit in this pursuit. Despite the presence of many vehicles on the road, the pursued car recklessly fled at speeds exceeding 110 miles per hour. The police then decided to perform a high-speed pit maneuver. The impact rendered both vehicles nearly incapacitated. The suspect abandoned the vehicle and another car from the pursuit team arrived promptly. A foot chase ensued involving the police officer and the suspect. The officer then reported the situation regarding the suspect, who was apprehended at Burger King. A stolen vehicle is being pursued by a patrol unit on Interstate 95. The patrol, upon receiving information, stops to observe the position of the vehicle. After identifying the vehicle based on its color and license plate, the police officer activates the siren and alarm, initiating the pursuit. The suspect's vehicle accelerates and attempts to flee at a high speed. Both patrol cars close in and perform multiple pit maneuvers. The pit maneuver is successful on the third attempt, rendering the suspect's vehicle disabled. The driver is then apprehended, handcuffed, and placed in the backseat of the police car. This concludes a high-speed chase and undoubtedly the suspect will face numerous serious charges. In your opinion, how many years of imprisonment should the suspect face for this blatant disregard for the law?
The patrol officer swiftly responds to a report of a stolen vehicle in the middle of the night. Without wasting a moment, the patrol duo coordinate with each other to determine the escape direction and initiate a pursuit right away. And despite the imminent danger, they didn't let any opportunity slip away. Upon approaching the suspect, they closely followed it, executing the pit maneuvers. The suspect persisted in fleeing and circled back onto the road. However, attempting to test the patience of the law enforcement in a hazardous manner, the suspect strangely was risky. Oh wow, the pit maneuver was successful and after the impact on the driver's side, the air pumps deployed and the suspect was trapped inside and promptly pulled out of the vehicle. <laughs> They were handcuffed on the spot and the check would be conducted before the staff breakers take into the police station. On September 9, 2023, a FHP trooper observed the red Nissan car with Florida license plate on U.S. Highway 19 in Hebron County. The vehicle did not signal and was found to have been legally tinted window. The car swerved and changed speed unevenly, raising suspicion about the driver's ability. 
and when the police attempted to pull the car over near a gas station, the vehicle initially complied but then accelerated into the gas station and in the end ensued pursuit. The driver attempted to flee at a vague checkpoint, creating a dangerous and dramatic chase in the dark. The car raced through residential areas, executing challenging maneuvers, making sharp turns left and right to obstruct the relief line of sight. However, the high speed chase caused the vehicle to lose control and spun on the road within the residential area. The car then started emitting smoke and the police quickly gained control of the suspect. This incident put the suspect in a situation. We continued to drive recklessly was not possible and they would soon face legal consequences in prison. A grey Dodge Charger was observed traveling westbound on a U.S. Highway 412 in the United States at a high speed. Activating the radar, the police detected that the vehicle speeding up to 98 miles per hour. To can't cover the car, the police decided to make a U-turn on the westbound media, but the vehicle immediately accelerated, forcing the law enforcement to initiate a pursuit. The race between the car and the police car unfolded at speed exceeding 100 miles per hour. As they approached the Sonora Road traffic light, the car disappeared, but the police continued to monitor the westbound direction, anticipating the possibility that the vehicle might turn onto the road side. Along Sonora and Hayward Springfield, there was no trace of the vehicle. A butterfield coach, the police no longer detected the car as they approached the traffic light. A grey SUV identical to the one that fled appeared from Butterfield Coach. The police had enough suspicion to believe it was pursued vehicle, so they decided to stop the traffic with this vehicle. A 
and after stopping, they approached the driver and detected the strong odor of marijuana from the car. The police simply detained the driver from marijuana position and continued to investigate the pursuit. And inside the vehicle, they seized one ounce of marijuana as evidence, and the driver was taken to Washington County. However, with the police watching the out of jail, it's to the allegation that the pursuit vehicle had turned south on Arbiton, and the charger was a different car. At Walmart, the driver of the car was not charged with evading, but only faced drug-related charges. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to continue the crime-solving journey with the street police. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos.